Lilybutt and the Snail, by Lynn Ball. Lily is a girl who loves exploring and discovering new things. She questions the world around her. Her parents lovingly call her Lilybutt because she usually butts in to the conversation in her curious manner with, "But why?" or "But how?" or even "But when?" It was a rainy day. Lily loved the rain. She put on her raincoat and boots, ready to do some super puddle jumping. Out the front door she bounded, running, jumping, skipping, and falling. Lily had almost jumped on a snail. What are you doing in the middle of my puddle jumping path? She asked the snail as she picked herself up off the ground. You might get stepped on here. Lily carefully picked up the snail, examined it, and moved it over into the garden on top of a leaf. There you go, little one. You'll be safer in there. Later that day. Lily told her mother about the snail. I rescued a snail today, Mama. It was right in my puddle jumping area. Oh dear," said Lily's mother. "I'm glad you were watching where you were jumping. Sometimes when it But rains, but why, Mama?" interrupted Lily. "Why do I only see snails when it rains?" Well, Lily, but. The snails are there even when it is dry out, but when it rains, the earth holds too much moisture, and they have to come out of their underground homes. So their houses get flooded every time it rains. But where do they go, poor little snails? Lily thought this was terrible. She loved the rain and jumping in all the puddles that it made. But she had never thought about the snails before. Lily decided she must do something to help the snails. She headed to her craft shelf to get some supplies. She gathered some popsicle sticks, emptied her dollhouse, and made a little sign to stick in the ground. A little while later, Lily's mother poked her head out the front door. "Time to come inside, Lily, but it's going to be dark soon." And but Mama, Lily was so excited. "Come and see the new snail hotel." Lily's mother walked over to the garden to see. Lily had made a little dry place for the snails to go when it rained. There was a little popsicle stick fence around it, and a sign that read "Snail Hotel." That looks wonderful," said Lily's mother. "We certainly have some very lucky snails in our garden now, don't we?" Lily smiled. She hoped that the snails would use her little hotel, and hoped she would get a chance to watch them if they did. Snails are very interesting creatures, aren't they, Mama? Lily's mother smiled and gave her a big hug. Yes, they are, she whispered, and my little Lily Butt, so are you. The end.